Welcome to 25 Days of Tax Fridays. This is day 17. Let's get started. Okay, day 17, employee with the longest average processing order time. If you look at the glossary, the process ordering time is between order date and ship date. Okay, so we need to first grab the employee, the ID and the full name. We're going to get the order ID, the order date and the ship date, and then we're going to export these to Excel. Right, so I formatted the results a little bit. Now we're going to count the number of days between the ship date and the order date for each order and each employee. And once we have these, we're going to create a pivot table. So we calculate the average order time for each employee. So full name and then days, but I want the days to be the average because he's asking us for the average order time. And the reason why we're getting these high numbers is because we have here, I'm guessing for ship, there are the ones that have not shipped yet. So we are going to grab them because otherwise they're going to skew our data. We don't want that. Delete row, so. And then if we go here and refresh, we're going to get better order days, right? Lovely. So copy, paste, and then I'm going to smallest. And we see that Anne Dorsworth is the one that has the longest average processing time, which is 10 days. So how do we do this in DAX? Let's go. Evaluate. Summarize. We know this by now, right? So we are going to summarize the employee table, employee ID, employee full name, and then we're going to calculate the average order time, which is going to be average of our order table. And we're going to here calculate the date diff of order, I think it's the order date first. And we're going to do this in days. One more, run. Lovely. As you can see here, it's ignoring the blanks, which is lovely. Um, and then we have, we can see Anne is here. So the only thing that we have left is just to do the top end and concatenate. Right, so here's how it looks. This is the part that we copied and then we have top end for average order time and then we have the concatenate for employee full name, the delimiter and ascending as the rules say. And we get Anne Dorswood again. So I will see you again on day 18.